Field camp's usually a month-long course in Wyoming and Montana, and the students are out there mapping in the field a couple square miles at a time. And this year, because of the coronavirus and the classes being online, had to cut, develop a concept for a online version of field camp. So this is kind of like what well, was supposed to be our like capstone covering everything you've learned in literally four years. Um, but now we're kind of doing it virtually and on Minecraft. I have taken four of the mapping projects we use and recreated them in uh, Minecraft, this 3D world that you can walk around in and interact with. In this Minecraft game, he literally like replicated stuff we would see. So like our cabins, um, even the different locations of where we go and map, he did a really good job of like mimicking the geology out there in this video game. So if you click on this, it will take you to a 360 degree photo of that spot. Then we kind of go through and we have to create a geological map and a cross section. I'm writing down like strike, dip, what kind of rocks I'm standing on. And that way as I keep going, I have an actual like image of what the geology of that area looks like. And then I take that and I create a map. That way I get a nice picture of what the geology of Sheep Mountain looks like. One of the cool parts is just like wandering around and like finding stuff. Like little things like he has a little dog that replicates like a wolf. Like just like little things like when you're just like wandering around. We tried to make it fun. We've added little elements in there. Um, when they're out there in the field, they have to maintain their thirst bar. They have to keep, they have to keep, uh, keep drinking water or their thirst goes down, just like in the real world. There's also animals in the field, so there's um, virtual grizzly bears and virtual snakes. And so you have to watch out for those along the way. Oh, I just got bitten by a snake. <laughs> that's, that's fun. So now I got bitten by a snake, so I lost a heart. And I don't know, I just think Dr. Purcell just went above and beyond. Like, this is stuff he didn't even have to do. He could have just given us, you know, assignments out of a textbook. But you can tell he put in a lot of work and a lot of effort just by everything, how it's like laid out and all the attention to detail, I guess, that he's put into it. So I do really appreciate that on his behalf.